start. And then there he is recording. Where's the button again? Like up here? You can, yeah, you can get up there. Okay. I don't think there's any lights on the front. Yeah, there's no lights on the front, so. Um, now, this is the thing. Let's, let, why don't we do this? Okay. Why don't we work uh, on that first, set me up on Love's France, True Love is a character. Okay. Make sure, yeah. Sure. Okay, so as we open this thing, um, he, he, uh, let me just give you a taste of it. Our tale begins in France long ago with a little man barely three feet tall. An unlikely hero searching for true love who proved you can do big things even if you're small. Right. All right. So the, the, the deal with this, the entire narration is always that he's like, like his, his reminiscing about like where he's from and this story, like it all loves France, lo loves France, like every stuff. Frenchman. Every Hello. <laughs> Back to the old country where we have the swinging language. Okay. Right. So yeah, yeah France super, super over right. the top with France right. and then true love. Like he's, he's actually talking about himself. Like oh, he, that's the character. True love is true love itself. Right. Okay. And so he brings people together and whenever he has a story, like where people actually, you know, come together, like it's his, his favorite story, but he also, like he calls himself out searching for true, searching for me. Right. So like, it's almost like a little, like, like presentation searching for true love. Yeah. Me. Okay. You know what I mean? So you don't have to push Our tale begins in France oh, long ago with a little oh. man barely three I'll feet tall. When you talk, so An unlikely hero searching yeah. for true love who proved that you can do big things even if Oh it's my god, I can see you in the this reflection right here. This little hero is a painter for the king. Awesome. A Frenchman as French as Frenchman come. His landscapes amaze, his portraits delight. And I can even do that thing with my thumb. Ouch. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Alright. Good. Yeah, I was, I was agreeing with you. Absolutely. We definitely can't go like line by line. It'll get so cut up and nasty. No, they have to be the, the, the chunks. Yeah. Can I turn the lights down? Uh, yeah, a little, but I don't like the disco deal. Okay? Oh, okay. Well, I was thinking you were in the dreamy state, you know? No, I'm <laughs> plenty dreamy, believe me. I'll... So, okay, so uh, do you want to do it in like a section that's a part of the story? We're going to do a, 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 a couplet or du a double couplet and then move on after that. Because right. nothing, there's no, I don't lose flow between them. I know what's going on. Okay. And it's animation. I keep it rolling. It's got to be kind of evocative for Kenny. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's see if it's good. And it could be too much, too little, whatever. We've... Okay. So we're, we're talking about today's October the 26th, right? And we're doing this for Kenny. So let's roll it. We're on one. This one's for Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> so Little Pinkia by Kenny Roy. Our tale begins in France long ago, with a little man barely three feet tall, an unlikely hero searching for true love, who proved you can do big things, even if you're small. This little hero was a painter for the king, a Frenchman as French as Frenchmen come. His landscapes amaze, his portraits delight, and I can even do that thing with my thumb. <laughs> I, you know what? Let's change that. I don't like the first thing that he says is that he can do the, that thing with his thumb. I want his, his name to be the first thing he says. So can we change that to, and he can even do that thing with his thumb? Yes. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> wow. This little hero is a pain. It's it's more delightful that way. Yeah. Um, and so and so also, I mean that that kind of means that he's not saying a Frenchman is French as Frenchman come. But I do, I do like how hard you're hitting the word French because you know every, every French word and the, and the word France is is a point of pride for this. Area. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that so um, you just want me to do it again the same uh, way? I think I think one more time the same way, um, okay. and, and we'll see what happens. Six. Do you want to rhyme with me? Yeah, it, I, he's revered for his keen artistry. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was what I what I what I'm looking for. Okay. Now. And then on, one more time on, on Pierre Bon Voyage et Fromage, it's almost more um, sectioning off Bon Voyage from a Fromage. Okay. Like like even Pierre. Only age, a fromage. 
Pierre Bouillage et Fromage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give me a feasted and drank and jousted all day and was the most annoying prince you ever knew. Oh, that was really, that was really nice. Um, I think, I, let, let's just see what it sounds like when you go even more French on the, on the French words. Right. Maybe. Yeah, one five. Pierre painted. Pierre painted for the great King Croissant and his son, the snidely Prince Deja Vu who feasted and drank and jousted all day and was the most annoying prince you ever knew. Wow, I want that. Okay. Yeah, yeah you gotta go for the souffle and brulee, creme brulee. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so one six. <clears throat> sadly, sadly the kingdom had been at war for years. I Sadly, the kingdom had been at war for years against the powerful and feared King Soufflé, a king without a son like Croissant instead of a daughter named Crème Brûlée. Inserting, yeah. and I think it might fit for him once in a while, the characters to lip sync it. Yeah. And you'll only know when you see it, really. Yeah. We can think this up, uh, you know? Yeah. I'm I'm pretty positive though that I want to remove the quotation marks from any sensible Frenchman would. Right. So that's that's all narrator that first line. Well, I played it that way. Yeah, you did, and and uh, why you keep it that way? Okay. Please. So you want me to do that one again, just to? Yeah, one more. Okay. Thank one nine. So Pierre. So Pierre suggested as any sensible French. <laughs> so Pierre. Perf Parfait, said the king. I love the idea. But there's a problem, Deja Vu said smugly. No one has ever seen Creme Brulee. What if he's a... What if the princess is ugly? Parfait, said the king. I love the idea. But there's a problem, Deja Vu said smugly. No one has ever seen Creme Brulee. What if the princess is ugly? <laughs> uh... Uh, that's a good sign. Now, is what if the is clear enough for everybody? Uh, I I was too distracted by my laugh. I can't yeah. remember. So it. was I. <laughs> uh, two five. Parfait, parfait, said the king. Really love what you're doing at the end there. It's it's feeling super super French. Yeah. I don't know why. It's so good. Um, uh, I I think we got it. Good, because I think what I'm doing is I'm doing authentic touches. And that reads well with French, but but sometimes I don't do you know I'm not down, bound down to the god of accuracy because if we do all this here they won't understand it. Yeah. So Pierre to start, you know we know who Pierre is. We don't. I'm, I went through this whole thing and said what words I can I not I don't want to die right on. Now we don't we uh, the word proportion the R is swallowed. On, on every one of the readings. It's a bit, it's a bit too soft. Such perfect proportion. Pro, see, it's proportion. Proportion. Proportion is what they say. Prop, okay. But I, let's do it now, cheap, because we don't want to lose it. Such perfect proportion and pure golden hair. It was clear she had stolen Pierre's heart. He was struck by true love. So it was the <clears throat> of King Soufflé that reminded Pierre to start. Sounded like a sneeze what to me. His, his ahem sounded like a sneeze to me. The, the ahem was, I, I love how the ahem is uh, run into. Run into, the, yeah. So it, it actually does interrupt um, you as well. It's very, it's like self-referential. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, nice. Um, can, we, can we just one more? Um, uh, um, I, I think uh, you're going too hard on a brilliant idea came to mind. I okay. think that's still the same tone as just a, as Pierre was about to give up. A brilliant idea. I'll make it a little more thoughtful time. rather than excited. Yeah, right, yeah. That's and just as Pierre was about to give up, a brilliant idea came to mind. He painted a portrait but covered it quickly. Just as Pierre was about to give up, a brilliant idea came to mind. He painted a portrait but covered it quickly. Just as Pierre was about to give up, a brilliant idea came to mind. He painted a portrait but covered it quickly to not reveal what he designed. That was one. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Five, five. All right, this is take five, six.
The plan had worked. The whole court was disgusted, and there certainly would be no wedding. But he must. But he mustn't find out. The king will no. But he mustn't find out. The king will no doubt order my little beheading. Hmm. He mustn't meaning. Deja vu or the king? A anyone mustn't find out, but he's he's talking. Um, the king is going to be um, the king and deja vu are going to be like holding each other, like approaching slowly this disgusting portrait. So it, it, it'll he'll just like over the shoulder, but he mustn't. It's find all out. both of them, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of this the angry king roared the portrait was ugly but she's not i'll put it quite simply she's not worthy of pimply princess brule is hot <laughs> right and that's not period either yeah i know he's not saying she's he's just making a statement yeah, yeah, yeah. i love that well uh, what i you know robert duvall he'll do this when he does a roll so i told that guy i didn't want to go see him didn't matter me oh, yeah. and he told me if you ever get there he'd do it yeah. <laughs> It's a great trick because that's what they're up against. Yeah, that's a great Duval. Yeah. You do good impressions. Do you know that though? Well, I know that. <laughs> I just uh, want to help you as your career goes in the crapper. <laughs> well, I did, you know, uh, I did uh, I think Tim Allen for nine years doing Buzz Lightyear. Oh, really? Even worked in the movies with him, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he was too busy. Oh. To infinity and residuals. <laughs> it turns out all middle-aged men who went to jail and did drugs roughly sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> to infinity and residuals. <laughs> Just... Let um, me do it. Uh, uh, I got an idea yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, uh, seven, eight. Was only his painting to serve as a shield, and his paintbrush a frail little sword. Pierre's knees were shaking, and his body trembling, as the troll awoke and roared. I like those levels. Let's so it's like he's yeah. did he, he's like that, and then rrr. yeah. Let's let's keep those levels. Um, make sure we have the uh, very very delineated uh, shield and sword. Okay. Because um, I need to show those. Um, he's going to whip one up and whip the other up. Gotcha. Okay. Was only his painting to serve as a shield, and his paintbrush a frail little sword. Pierre's knees were shaking and his body trembling as the troll awoke and roared. Yeah, that was good. Even the narrator was scared. Let me do it, the 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 me do it again. Far to the east, as far as you can, then farther still. That was the first <laughs> one. Uh, that was yeah. perfect. Okay, thanks. That was great. Yeah. I'm watching the hula thing going on too. <laughs> yeah, thanks, the Andy. That was great. Off in a flurry of hearts and took the portrait to carry. Interesting that you just read that is croissant, because I wrote it as brulee, and um, so I thought it would be croissant. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. I know. So, but there's, it's almost like a philosophical battle now again, because it's kind of like, if she knights him, why did she not knight him to begin with if she wanted to be with him? Oh, well, well wait a minute, I got this as croissant. Yeah. Because he threw him to the troll. No, no, exactly. No, no, I, I got how you read yeah. it. Yeah. But, like, long, ever since, ever since, first time I ever wrote this, right. it was, I imagine, brulee, Getting her sword out and 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 knighting. No, him. no, she no, wouldn't no, do it. No, she can't do it. Yeah. And so I'm right. so glad you just read that as croissant yeah. because you just you fixed make, the, make, I problem. never doubted that it was that guy because it's the perfect turn. Right. Because no, he no. loves what he's yeah, going to do to him. Right. Yeah. Great job. Okay. So, good. So okay. Um, can we just? I, I wasn't even hearing it right. because I. <laughs> can I do one take. Two, yeah, please. Nine nine. For brave. For bravery in battle against a horrible troll, and for ridding this land of a beast, I dub thee Sir Pierre, knight of my court. Now come, let us have a feast. Awesome. True love for Brulee. They fell in love, got married, and wouldn't you guess, lived happily together to this day. Alright, so on true love, <clears throat> uh, basically the scene is going to start right and uh, he's the the narration is happening and he's passing out plates and you see the whole cast and then right on pronounced his true love okay and then and then leaves right okay okay hey, well for the littlest painter now the littlest knight <clears throat> 
the littlest painter, now the littlest knight, pronounced his true love for Brule. They fell in love, got married, and wouldn't you guess, live happily together to this day. That was, that was awesome, man. I, lo- I saw it when you... Yeah. True love! And he's happy. He's yeah. smiling because yeah. now you know who I am. Yeah. yeah. Good. It it's freaking great. Yeah? Yeah. You got it? <laughs> Did you get that, honey? Yeah. Because I can do it over and over. I'm a machine. <laughs> Just wind me up. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That sounds great. Good. Yeah, I'm really stoked. Thank you so much. All right. This sounded amazing. I love this. This is so so interesting to do, you know the the idea that it comes from a dream, and then I I love the double the couplets but doubled, hmm. and I love every so often that you rhyme to all of them. Oh yeah, there's yeah. two of them in there. Yeah, where you only yeah only a few, but there's yeah. a couple of them which is it yeah. was nice. The only thing that I try to do and <clears throat> it's important is we don't bow down to rhyme. Right. It happens and we flow through yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy for actors when they get to it. At the end of a line, to take a pause mm-hmm. before they come to the other one, mm-hmm. when not necessarily. Do you know who did the narration for uh, Bounden, the Pixar short? No. No, I, I don't know either. I should. Good. I should. Huh? <laughs> well, you know mm-hmm. what? They, they um, I felt like they, I felt like they wrote the um, the writing was slave to the rhyme. Right. And um, I, that's I felt tough. Like, yeah. Because you want to hide it. Yeah. When it's a, t- a slave to it, you wanna you you don't wanna work it at all. Yeah. You wanna hide it. Yeah. And get uh, and pick up your Oscar. Yeah. In there be- because yeah that's they didn't. I don't think they pinky. won for bounding. I don't think they won for. It. I think something else won the won the uh, the short that year. Um, I remember this one line where like um, are, are you you're, paraphrasing you're you're um, you're sad you're pink or something that's a big nope. Uh, um, if no. you're if you're if you're pink brown or heliotrope. <clears throat> well, like, here's the thing. Like, come on. Like, that, who's... That's not a slave to rhyme. That's just bad writing. Right, okay. It's like uh, Jimmy Webb. I, I can't even remember what, what he did. It wasn't for uh, Wichita Lyman. I think it was uh, um, by the time I get to Phoenix. And he has one in there, and it says, it doesn't rhyme, and it, it kills me, but I got away with it. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Or, or when it's, it works, especially when you, the syntax, which you have to do sometimes turn it around. Yeah. But in the case of this thing, you can turn around some syntax because yeah. it's old timey. Yeah. What I try, what I try to do, I, I wrote the story. The story didn't rhyme in my dream, of course, but I wrote the story and then I, I, I said exactly what I wanted to say. And then um, when it came time to like turn it into the rhyming, I didn't like just like go to the end of the sentence and then like open up a thesaurus no. or, or and, and just try to, to try to rhyme it's it. falling I actually tried to actually go back and say like this is what I want to happen but is there is there a way that we can get there so like um, um, especially see, especially like wedding and beheading right but see this you know? is really clever so the, the plan had worked the whole court was disgusted and there certainly would be no wedding he mustn't find out. The king will no doubt order my little beheading. You see, it's so natural because, it, it, and it's clever. Right. Order my little beheading because he's a little guy, well, too. Well, so that's what happens. So I thought to myself, like, if the king finds out, this guy's dead. How do kings kill people? Beheading. And then right when I, in my head, I said, beheading, oh, my God, wedding. Right. And so then, like, it, it fixed Well, that's it, ideal. Went to be, it you always get to that one thing yeah. at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you're going, what rhymes with wistful? <laughs> Good. Well, thank you, Pat. Yeah. Great job. Love it. Yeah, well, it, it tells of it, you know, and uh, Jimmy Webb's a great guy for rhyming. His book, Toonsmith. You know what Jimmy Webb is?